Okay, so I've been asked what kind of protein shakes do I have, uh, what my diet is like, etc., etc. I'm not on a diet. I don't believe in diets. Diets are a sure way for you to give up and gain all the weight back. You have to learn to eat right, eat clean. Uh, you can have a cheat day. Don't think that, oh my God, I have to eat just this way and I can never eat something I want. That's going to mess you up, okay? Because you're going to fall a few times. You're going to go through a few binges. You can't think of you eating burgers and then, oh, next day I'm going to have a Diet Coke. You're going to lose weight. That's not going to happen. And if you're going to have a burger, cook it yourself. Make it with turkey. There's turkey ground meat. Put it on a wheat bun. Don't slather it with mayo. But you can learn to make alternatives and do it yourself. That's a part of what I'm going to teach you how to eat clean and healthy. Turkey ground meat. You can have a burger, but make it yourself. You're going to mess up a few times. But you have to commit. You can't do that every day. You have to commit, okay, this is what I want to accomplish in a month. Personally, for me, my goal was a little bit different. I want to be lean for life and healthy for life. That's my goal. There's a lot of people that are really skinny, but they're not healthy. They can't run a block <laughs> without huffing and puffing. Don't be fooled by pounds and by skinny people because everyone's story isn't the same. I have a friend of mine that is a plus size model and she could run for a long time. It has nothing to do with that, okay? It's about how healthy you are, you know, on the inside. This is what I have for protein shakes. When you do your protein shakes, you have to learn to make them taste good. If you have protein shakes, just the scoop of protein and water and a little milk, it's going to taste disgusting and you're going to lose all motivation. So I'm going to teach you a few things that I do to make it taste good. So this is the one that I use. It's by Designer Way. I get the biggest one because it lasts longer. Okay, You have one scoop for your serving size. What you could do is mix it up. What I do for the mornings, I like to have like a meal replacement. Uh, and sometimes if I don't want to have breakfast, which usually I don't, what I do is that I get one tablespoon of oatmeal, one tablespoon of almond butter, natural almond butter, no salt, no extra anything in it. You can get it at the health food stores. Everybody has one in their neighborhood. Or you got to drive out of your town to have some. You put one scoop of this guy in your cup. Now, remember, you're counting calories, okay? Milk. I have lactose-free milk. I put half a cup. And then I put the rest water and two ice cubes. That shake is anywhere from 250 calories to 300. You could put a banana in your shake. You could put a piece of mango in it. However it is that you want to have it, strawberry. But remember, you are counting those calories, okay? Don't get fooled into thinking that you're making something healthy, but you're adding on all these calories. I eat every three hours. You count them up and you start breaking apart the calories. And it tastes really good. Something that's very convenient. This is your shake thing that you use. You basically just, it gives you the exact serving size. So you don't go over what you're not supposed to do. For those of you out there that have no discipline, <laughs> it's great. Because I don't have any discipline sometimes. I'm just like you. <laughs> so what you do is you just put all the stuff that has an exact serving size. And then you just put it in here. Mm, you turn it on. It's blends it all, and it's ready to go. That's convenient. I found some really good protein bars that I was recommended by this bodybuilder dude that I know. This guy is super in shape. I think he sneezes and he gets a six pack. It's really annoying. <laughs> but these guys, all right, Power Punch. And they taste really good. Actually, my favorite is the berry one. This one. Okay. You just have one. They taste exactly exactly like candy and they taste like wafers like the ones that you put in vanilla ice cream 
they're really good. This is another meal replacement type of thing. You should learn to cook healthy. Aside from working out, you need to eat clean. You're not somebody that can cook all the time because you have uh, two jobs or you're working longer than you can, you know, come home tired and you want to cook. You can buy those frozen dinners, and I know it sounds really disgusting, but they taste really good. You have to buy the right ones. Healthy choice makes them good. The working mother, you know, and, and you come home and tired, you're trying to cook. Get those frozen dinners. The frozen dinners work, and they taste good. You won't be ordering your pizza. You won't drive by the McDonald's. Say you want chicken. Don't fry it. Bake it. Bake everything. Oh, salad. Don't be fooled, okay? That if you have a salad from wherever it is that you buy it from, you're having something healthy. Because you're not if you ask for ranch, Thousand Island, and you drench it, and it has cheese, and it has all the good stuff, crispy chicken, all that is not going to work, <laughs> okay? What you need to do is stick to oil and vinegar for your uh, dressing, lemon, put a little bit of salt on it. You have to learn to eat this way. It's not going to happen overnight. There's a lot of stuff that you don't know, crave. It's like a habit. After you get through the first 30 days of trying to eat better, you are going to start to follow the routine. Don't do diets. Are you serious? Like, do you think that you're going to really stick to the tomato soup diet?